welcome back to Modern Minecraft. This is episode 52 of All the Mods. So, last episode, we managed to redo and set up a much cleaner version of the crystallizing process or where we make our crystal uh, liquid crystals from here. Um, holy smokes, all I've got to say is I've, I've already produced 49,800 um, liquid crystal here. The problem is it's become since we've got a large that's a 49 just say 50,000 that's a large amount of liquid crystal and when I say a large amount I've already pumped about a stack that's right about a stack of nether stars into it already to in, uh, to improve efficiency and strength and I've only got about 63.3% of both of them up now purity is around about 84 Four percent point five. That's because I'm oh, running quite low of uh, filter materials here. That should manage if you give it time. If you get give it some time, it should manage to tick over to eighty five percent. And obviously, to get it up, the rest of it you would use diamonds, etc., etc., to to increase and uh, well, diamond emeralds and stuff like yeah, stuff like that to increase it to get a hundred percent. But once that hits a hundred percent, which is probably going to take another entire stack of freaking nether stars. Thank God we got the farm for it. It's going to automatically drain into the bottom tank here, making a metric butt ton of crystals. I think we got like, what, about 12 crystals. 12, 100% purity of everything. Like, 100%, just, it's the perfect crystal. Uh, we've got probably going to make about 12 of them. No, not, more, not as much, about 8. Yeah, I'd say about 8 perfect crystals. And all 8 will generate 20,000 RF a tick automatically through our new system here so that's absolutely fantastic i just thought i'd give you guys a quick update on how the the liquid is going here and um yeah once once you once i do farm another stack so i've got to go sit there for another hour or so to it it takes about i would say about two hours to get an, an entire stack of nether stars in our automatic uh wither uh, farm there now i've done some off camera work oh, you've, you've done some off camera work so we'll go up and i'll show you guys you can probably guess already look look how clear it is from here even here all right so can you pick it out what's the off camera work oh it is the floor that's right so half this floor is actually glowstone i finally got around to using the painter machine which is this little beauty here painting uh glowstone into factory blocks here but um every second block can you see it see that's painted glowstone if you look up the top there and that's a factory block and then oh can i spot the next one yep painted so every second one is the painted glowstone all over the place if we press f7 now remember that brought up a little menu showing all the visible points of spawn so press f7 and guess what nothing no visible spawn points. How brilliant is that? So if you probably look out the window, you probably see a bunch of them. Yes, you do. See? Bunch of them. But none in here. Oh! No? No? Literally none in here. Got rid of all the torches. It's so much cleaner, I must admit. Now... I better stop chin wagging and uh, move right along. So we're going to actually continue on our base this episode. We're going to continue on the top area. I've got a couple things to show you because uh, when I was putting... Oh, quite a few episodes ago. If we go up here... Put it in hover mode, the sun's about to come up, which is fantastic. Put it in hover mode, so quite a few episodes ago we built, where are you? This wheat farm. Now, this was meant to be an automatic wheat farm um, using the diamond harvester slash planter. That thing is bloody horrible. When I say bloody horrible, I mean bloody horrible. Um, I, well, I've got some tips, so I ended up going, checking, I've got two, good, two tips here. I've got the farming station by Ender IO, and I've got the farmer by Actually Additions. So I've got both of these guys here because they're going to both do separate jobs. So I've already built them. Really simple stuff to build, especially Actually Additions. Well, hang on. Press, oh, crikey, press R. There we go. Check it out. I am not kidding you. That is literally the farmer from Actually Additions. It's just um, iron. This is iron. This is iron shot with a laser beam and seeds. <laughs> <laughs> basic as basic is all hell and this thing is meant to do like a huge area by itself no upgrades no bs i was like what oh crikey so thanks uh i don't know who to think now for the tip of that one somebody told me about that one um okay so we've got these two we've got hang on i'll put put them down we can have a play because i haven't checked out the ui yet the farmer okay so obviously RF goes in here, 
Uh, one's an input, one's an output. So you put seeds in one and the stuff that it harvests in the out. GG. Literally that simple. Not even kidding you. That freaking simple. That's freaking awesome. And then we got this guy here, which is called the Farming Station by Ender.io. Pop this bad boy. Requires RF as well. All right, let's turn off Jetpack here. So this is the guy's a little bit more advanced. This guy here requires RF. Doesn't require coal like the other freaking one. That was bloody horrible. So it doesn't require coal like the other one, but actually it requires a bloody axe, which is kind of disappointing. So, because I really want to get into chopping wood, and I was trying to figure out what the best way to automatically chop wood down, and looks like this is the farming station that's going to do it. I haven't even checked into how we're going to automatically breed animals yet on this mod pack. <laughs> I have no bloody clue. But anyway, you obviously you put a stack of saplings in each one of these corners, and that's obviously each one of the corners of the machine. And you can lock them and so on and so on. And you bone mill up here, the axe up here. If you want to get the leaves back, obviously, you put... Well, no, that's, that's, is that shears? I'm not 100% sure. I think it does three jobs. By the look of it, one's an axe. Is that a hoe? I think that's a hoe. And then that one there is freaking um, shears. So maybe it does three jobs. I'm not 100% sure. But this guy here chops down trees. So as you can see here, obviously the trees will get out... Well, the logs and stuff will be outputted here. How freaking cool is that? Cool, look at that, look at that. Being bloody tastic. All right, so we've got two of these new machines I'm quite happy with. Um, we're going to be playing around with those very soon to get them up and going. Now, the last time we're up here, as you can see, I did put the roof in. Uh, remember, there was dirt in the freaking way. This area is nowhere near done yet. You know, I've got big, 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 big plans for this whole area. Um, we've got dome. It looks like, according to the comments... Uh, the dome, dome's in. The dome is going in. Like, there was a lot of good suggestions for dome. Somebody even, like, actually, there was a good co comment thumbsed up a while ago. Um, I think, hang on, hover mode, there we go. I think um, they were saying, build the dome completely out of force field blocks and have it, have it, have it like a force field. I was like, wow, that's actually a pretty freaking good, neat, neat bloody idea right there. Force field block dome. So... Don't know. Well, we'll have to wait and see because that's actually we're going to need a sheep farm for that because we kind of wool to build those those freaking things. Um, yeah, so that's all up here, and then we've got to have uh, we're going to have uh, like garden around, and I really do want to have some sort of water feature that goes down the middle here. I've always wanted the water feature in. Have to implement that somehow. Now let's talk about the thing we're actually going to start on today, data before we get too carried away. So this bottom area is actually going to be opened up. So. We'll come over here, give this a good old whack. Alright. Whack away. Whack away. There we go. Alright, whack that away. So, we're going to obviously put a roof on it. Yes, yeah, it's obviously going to have a roof on it. But, from here, I don't have any blocks on me. But before, from about here, outwards is going to be another, um, like, viewing platform thing. Like that thing there. Um, we're going to have that bit come inwards, so the pattern's going to look quite nice, and we're going to actually have glass. So these two levels here, I've got planned to have glass. So you'd be up one block like that, looking straight down on the outside. It should look quite pretty, and then we're going to have stairs going into the second level here, because the original plan is still going to stick. I'm going to end up glassing this section off. All this is going to be glass and it's going to be enclosed and an enclosed area for farming trees and wheat and cows and all that. This is meant to be farming little area there and down here's the viewing platform with stairs going up and up. I think it'll look quite good with these pillars here. The effect, it should open the area completely freaking up. So I've got big ideas for that. It's just, oh, if it fails I'm going to look like a bloody idiot, aren't I? Crikey. Okay. So, I've got, I've been obviously crafting a bunch of, well, I've gone ahead, gone ahead and got as many freaking blocks, uh, factory blocks as I can together, plus crafted more of them. I went around chests just trying to grab out all I possibly could when it comes to that. Now, I want to grab, oh, I want to grab, there's something I want to grab. Ah, bloody stroof. It was the destruction wand. I think this, I need to give this guy a second look at, uh, because I kind of, I was in a rush ages ago, and I did read, I did read, come on, give me a chance, I did read, apparently, use it like a normal pick, 
So last time I was clicking, I was like, how do you break blocks? You know, like, I rushed. I'm in it. I'm a noob. You can slap me down all you want. Freaking hell. But apparently, according to you guys, you hold the button down and it breaks entire sections. So obviously we're floating in the air, so I won't take this long normally. But as you can see, the block is cracking and it will take out, boom, the entire area instead. Well, we have a leak here. Well, we did have a leak probably from that there. Hang on. Let me seal that bad boy up before we have any problems. Any really random water problems. Oh, crikey. I'm editing the dome shape. Crikey, well, why aren't you going away, you stinking water? What the hell? Is it, gl is it glitch from the blocks around the base? I should, I should tell you guys about what happened with the blocks around the base. Could be a glitch from that. Not even sure. All right. Alright, so yeah, so there, oh bloody hell, one there too, is there roots growing there? What the bloody hell is going on? There's roots growing through me bloody grass, what the flying bloody stroof. Anyway, I'll do this very shortly, I just thought I'd show you guys, I'm not sure if we can make it bigger, no, I'm using the zoom out, looks like, nah, it looks like that's the biggest we can go for um, survival mode, but obviously it's going to make it a little bit different, if we landed, it should be a lot quicker, yeah, see there we go, boom. A lot quicker than breaking them manually. So the destruction wand doesn't require anything. Yes, yes, I know, I know. I should have told you guys at a later date. Bloody crikey. All right, anyway, before I go off cam and do that, I'll do that off cam. I'm bloody chin wagon today. I've got heaps to do. Alrighty then, guys. So it's story time. All right, so as I was going to say, before I was rudely interrupted by the phone, <laughs> crikey. All right, so as I was just about to say, do you guys notice anything notice it right around the base do you guys see it do you have you picked it out yet i know some people might have picked it out in the last few episodes but check it out the river's back the the forest that burnt down thanks to the lava pit is back now you're probably wondering oh well why is that well i must admit that all the mods literally crashes a lot now we're on a server that's you know hosts other youtubers as well we've got king willie and mr red and river cobber and all the other guys and venom that they they play and they you know shoot episodes from here too and i've crashed the server come on look at back at the flux networks i crashed the server caused a rollback and the guys almost killed me so you know there's been uh me crashing the server king willie's crashed the server everybody i think everybody's here's crashed the server several freaking times Anyway, all the mods is quite unstable when it comes to server and mechanism, and it's quite a pain in the bum. Lots of rollbacks, lots of everything. So anyway, I'm going to try to cut the story short. Anyway, one morning, we all tried to log on so I could go, you know, just keep going on my series here and keep working at it, but uh, we couldn't log on, right? We're like, oh my god, we can't log on. Well... Um, the server constantly crashing, wouldn't boot, literally the map, we thought the map was had it, like legit, there was chunk errors all over the freaking place due to some mod that was conflicting with some mod due to some update and I jumped on the update too quickly or something, Ah, oh, I don't freaking know, so obviously wasn't too impressed, was not too impressed at all. Um, so we had to do drastic, drastic measures. We actually took down the, took like downloaded the map to the computer, and we actually deleted every single chunk around every single body, body's base, trying to hunt down and neutralize the problem. And it fixed it. Like, don't get me wrong, everybody joined, legitimately joined the server again. So. Um, yeah, which was, f obviously, we're all cheering, we're like, oh, right, the series is, we're going to have to end the series early, that's what we legitimately thought, we thought, we're going to end the series, I'm not going to start again, no bloody way, I'm going to end the series and move on to a different mod pack or vanilla again, I don't know, I don't know what was I was going to do, but, yeah, we fixed, we managed to fix the bloomin' map, and, um, yeah, oh, got to got to be careful, don't take out those sides there, we managed to fix the map, so all around, all the way around me at the moment, I noticed some people's noticed already, all the way around, around me, literally probably about five, six ch chunks between the base, all deleted, so all deleted, the villager over there would have got deleted, everywhere got deleted, so they got regenerated, fresh, brand new, and obviously the server worked like a charm, actually worked smoother than it was before, so anyway, Problem solved. Obviously, problem was solved. 
So no one really lost anything. Just around their base, I think I, you know, yeah, I, no, I didn't lose anything. Kind of sucks, but it had to happen. It, it did. It had to happen. Now it's caused little glitches, like I think water flow might be one of the glitches. Um, other than that, the server's running bloody fantastic after we did that. So yeah, I just thought I'd catch you guys up on what happened there so you guys can't point out, point out going, Huh, the river's back. Huh, the forest is not burnt down. Huh, you haven't raided the village yet. Well, yeah, it's kind of, you know, the chunks got deleted so they got reset. Yeah, so I thought I'd catch everybody up. It's been like that for a little while now. Uh, King Willie on his channel, over on King Willie's channel, he actually explained he screwed up the server already. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, yep, we screwed up the server, the server's screwed, blah de blah, blah I think, yeah, as I was saying, every one of us has crashed this damn server, but all, I must admit, all the mods is quite unstable, really unstable when it comes to server play, but when it's single player, we notice that it's a lot more stable, I don't know why that is, but, oh, pain in the bum, guys, pain in the bum. Anyway, oh, story time over, I'm going to literally tear this down and we're going to get stuck into it it's going to take a little bit but uh thanks to the uh new the destruction wand here we can use and uh yeah i'll be back shortly and i'll have all this torn out and it should be looking quite good Alrighty then guys i am back and as you can see i've ripped out all the walls i'm just lining up making sure well making sure it all lines up with the bottom uh, platform here but i've already started marking out the second platform there i think it's starting to open things up quite well it's definitely going to be an open feel at this point especially once the glass is in and it lets a bunch of light in like a huge amount of light i'm not sure whether to go with the stock glass or the glass we got downstairs or a clear glass at this point i just got to be careful using the build wand because if this connects to any other the uh, any other blocks well, obviously, we're going to have a problem, aren't we? So, like that. Um, and we're going to take it right to the edge here, like that. I think this is where we can't use the build blocks. Right. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. See, it's trying to climb. We don't want it to climb. So, we have to manually place around so it doesn't climb. We don't want no climbage there. I'm getting, actually, frame drops, which is quite nasty. Every time I place one of these down... But it's not, I shouldn't be updating any bl uh, block light levels, so I don't understand what's going on there, which is quite disappointing. So wrap it right around. Hopefully we don't need to go any higher than this. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. That's going to create a very nice pattern that, when it's done. Very, very nice. Now, I'm probably going to double thick it. I think I'll double thick it and probably make sure it has a, a pattern like this. See how it goes up a little bit. Same here. Once we double thick it with factory blocks on the bottom here, I think it's going to look drop dead gorgeous. So um, now we've got to talk about how we're going to get a mass amount of glass really quickly. Uh, there's a couple options. We can find a bloody desert, which is nowhere near freaking us, which is unfortunate. Um, some, uh, yeah, no, we've got a suggestion for a sag mill. Apparently, a sag mill from one of my. Uh, um, freaking uh, fans uh, suggested a sag mill for apparently cobblestone in a sag mill converts to sand if that's true we could easily put a build block down carve out a big square of cobblestone and convert it all into glass that would be quite quick and handy wouldn't it that would be really freaking quick and handy so that i'm not sure how we're going to do it just yet but we will do it i don't know why i'm placing blocks manually i'm just doing it around the pillars and then once I'm around the pillars, I'll move on. I'll do all the pillars, and then I'll, what I'll do end up doing is using the build rod for the rest of it. But yeah, we definitely don't have enough glass to finish it, but we have enough glass to just see what it looks like, which is obviously going to be bloody brilliant. All right, there. It's wrapped right a bloody round. Here we go. Here's the build wand. Hopefully, even all this out. There we go. Get rid of the torches. We're going to have to use some of the, the uh, uh, painted factory blocks, I think. Now, I'm not sure uh, this is going to be a problem. Stairs. Um, you can't get factory block stairs. So, unless the painter block paints cobblestone stairs for us and turns them into factory blocks. Hang on a second. Um, hang on a sec. I can check that. There's a description on it. I'm pretty sure it only did glowstone, didn't it? Painting block. Hold shift. Um, used to paint conduit oh fences ah stairs Fe fences stairs gates slabs cobblestone walls you name it carpet even freaking brilliant 
Okay, so that's going to be brilliant. Okay, so apparently we can paint normal cobblestone stairs and make them look like freaking factory blocks. That's going to be brilliant. And it's going to come in here. Oh, that's what I don't want. That's what I don't want. I'm going to screw up the pillars here. Fill that in. Just takes one block and then you've screwed up. You've got to undo it. But thank God this has an undo mode. We're almost there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Wrap it right around. And then we're going to play with some glass and see how she looks, I think. Hopefully, it's going to open. Trust me when I say when, when I say it's going to open the base right up. It is legitimately going to open it right up. It's going to make you want. It's going to make you want me to open the bottom half somehow. I am serious on that and quite concerned at the same time. <laughs> oh, crikey! Soon as all right. Where are we done? We done? Yes, we're done. All right, brilliant. Just this little section here to go. And oh, one, two, yep, Bob's your uncle. All right, so that should be equal. Let's have a quick squeeze at that. Oh, nuts over here. Of course, I forgot something. Hang on. But dump, but dump. Okay, so as you can see, check it out. That is the view from straight down. See what I mean about the pattern? That looks like a freaking snowflake now. Look at it. That looks like a bloody snowflake. Brilliant. So now we need an anchor block to get up here. Oh, yeah. No, that is definitely, definitely coming along nicely. All right, let's try find a swamp swap one and sw switch out some glass because I do have some glass here. Um, we'll chisel some clear glass, I think, because that's a decision I've got to make. See, I, I had glass on smelt, but I'm not sure if it's going to be enough. So we'll grab the swapping one real quick. Swap these around. Uh, how much juice do you have? It has enough. It should have enough for what we're going to do. All right, chisel, chisel, check. All right, let's check some glass out. So we are currently using this big stuff here, but it's not very clear. So if we can go with something like maybe the steel frame, let's have a quick squeeze of that. I really want the clear glass. Yeah, I like the steel. Oh, see what I mean? It does this stupid freaking fade effect, and I don't bloody like it. It's freaking horrible. It's, don't get me wrong, it's clear, but when you start adding more and more, this stuff is the reinforced glass. It's not re this is a tink, uh, the, the thickened glass by extra utility, so it's not really meant for what we're using it for. So I don't bloody know. Ah, oh, crikey. All right, let's try one more. Thickened frame, that's on our list. What about stone frame? No, nope. stone frame would be horrible. We've got grey bordered, and then we've got uh, sh shawl. I don't even know how to say that properly. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll try this one. All right, we'll try this one. Here we go. See what I mean? All the glass does it. I can... But actually... No, it doesn't match. I was going to say that border matches the thing, but it doesn't really. I think we'll go with the steel frame. Or maybe we'll just... Maybe we'll stick with this one. What was this one? This wasn't... No. We'll go with the steel frame one. All right? The steel frame was the was the boss. So let's do the still frame. I've decided a couple of chisel a couple of these bad boys out. Back to steel framed here. Go up. Nope. Actually, let's sleep first. Ouch. Didn't didn't land that properly, did we? Sleep first. And then we'll go swap out some blocks here and see how she looks. But it's adding more depth to the base up here definitely opening it right up as well this is going to get really bright really quickly all right block down swapping on select replace replace whole league oh crikey i must be full i am full um stroof all right we can throw the freaking torches out bye bye i'll pick up. i don't want to lose any of these blocks look at this guys we'll do one whole section right here right up to here so we can see what it looks like but we're doing a double we could go three i suppose three would probably look good but we gotta look on the outside too we haven't even finished the outside so much work to do on our base yet and actually it's staying clear because it's not connecting so that's fine too that's bloody brilliant all right wrap this around all right now we'll stand back have a look at this look at that it is opening the place right up i mean legitimately right up once we've got a roof on we might go three high but we can we're able to see out now look we can see the pillars on the side of the base this is bloody brilliant all right we'll go out we'll drop down hang on whoop, 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 whoop. 
I'll have a quick squeeze and see. Oh, I'm really out of jetpack fuel. So that is what it's going to look like. I think, to be honest, we're going to have to wrap a colour around the the yeah around that glass. So she can't stay like that on the outside. I haven't even finished the out fire out. So much to do. All right, come in here, replace it. So we can go three high, but then again, I've got to. You've got to understand also. We've got to put a roof on this roof. What I mean about roof, this this roof. Well, not that roof. Go away. This roof. Stroof. That thick. All the way along. So conduit apparently could be painted. So if that's true, then we can hide literally in one thick roof now. But that's how thick the roof. We could we we might have to go thicker if if we want to hide pipes and stuff. We'll literally have to take it down to there. That's how thick it's gonna be. Then we got stairway to do. Oh bloody hell. Alright, well what I'm going to do is finish this glass all the way around, then we've got to decide on the stairs and all that good stuff. So we've still got a little bit to go, but she's coming along and she's opening up quite well. I do like this a lot. We just have to pull it off. We have to pull it off. Anyway guys, thanks for watching episode 52 of All The Mods. Don't forget, if you're enjoying the content, just smash those buttons guys. And I'll catch you all later.